so good morning my dear students of zionist english high school especially of class 9 and class 10 so today i'm going to begin my online class especially today i'm going to discuss on grammar that is on active and passive voice so <clears throat> let us learn what is active and passive voice <clears throat> let us first of all know what is active voice what is active voice or in this case we use active voice settings when we give more importance importance more emphasis we can say more emphasis to the subject that is the doer of action the doer that is the doer of an action the doer of action that is the doer of will we give more importance or emphasis to the subject that is the doer of action the active voice is used the voice is used for example how we know that we have given or in a sentence it is given more importance or emphasis to the subject that is when we give more importance to the subject we will begin the sentence with the subject so to this we come to know that more importance is given to the subject like gram bought and bag here in this sentence we began or started the sentence with the subject so from this sentence we come to know that we more importance is given to this subject and so this sentence is called active voice because in this sentence we get from a subject or it here more importance is given to the subject <coughs> let us uh, take one more example raju killed the snake raju killed the snake So in this sentence also, Raju is the subject, the snake is the object, and he is the verb or action word. So I hope uh, this active voice is clear. So just to uh, you know what is active voice is that, or how do we come to know that sentence is active voice is that? Just we need to know whether the sentence began from the subject or not. If the subject If the sentence began with the subject, then we should know that that sentence is a active voice sentence. Now let us learn. Let us know what is passive voice. Passive voice sentence. When more importance. is given to the object to the object when more importance is given to the object that is the the receiver receiver of the action that is the receiver of the action 
Let's see, boys, you see. For example, for example, <coughs> let's take from the keyboard something. A bag is the object. A bag constant simple past events. So a bag was bought. A bag was bought by a. And in the second sentence, Razi killed a snake. So in passive voice, it would be the snake was killed by Razi. The snake was killed by Razi. I hope you understood what is, in this case, we use active voice. And in what case we use passive voice? Let's make once again clear that in active voice, subject is given more importance. Subject, that is the doer of action, the one who does action, is given more importance. And in the passive voice, the receiver of the action, the one who receives the action, is given more importance. And then in the passive voice sentence, the sentence begin with the object. So I hope you understood <coughs> what is active voice and passive voice. Now let us learn some rules. Or let us learn the rules to change from active to passive voice. So when we change the active voice, or when we learn the rule of changing from active voice to passive voice, it is better to do change voice. We change, so first, change is simple, Simple present tense. Simple present tense. So let us learn sense the voice tense wise so that we can be clear in every sentence. Simple present tense. I eat rice. So here more importance is given to the subject, that is I. And less importance is given to object that is red, rice. Now when we change, so this is active voice. Let me write A B. And passive voice. P B. P B is passive voice. So now uh, in definition we have already learned that more importance is given to when we give more importance to object, that sentence is called passive voice. And here in the active voice sentence, we give more importance to subject, that is the dual of action. So here in passive voice, let us give more importance to the object. Object here is rice. This is subject, this is object, and this is action. All the word we can see. Rice. Rice is Third person singular. Rice comes for the third person singular. First person is I. First person singular. We is first person plural. And second person. Second person singular is you. And plural is. And the third person, and in third person, third person singular is you, see, or it. So this it, 